Hello everyone. In this video, we are trying to learn about retrieving metadata from the image in Authentic. Metadata in uh, an image can be band names, it can be about projection information, uh, about properties, um, and anything that is related to the data itself. Knowing metadata helps in what we can expect according to the requirements, uh, our requirements. Uh, it helps in increasing our understanding related to the data, and and it and it helps in understanding what the image is like and what that image consists. So here in the very first code, we have the image loaded, and for getting all the metadata, we can just print the image or print the variable itself. And uh, it gets it gives us all the metadata related to this image. For getting the band names, we can do that by dot band names. And for the projection of the specific band, we can select the band and we can um, do that by dot projection and it helps us to know what uh, is the projection of that band and for getting the resolution or we can do that by nominal scale and by dot projection dot nominal scale by doing this we get the um, scale of that band and different bands uh, are with different projections um, in uh, different data sets so here we have band 8 and we have the um, projection and scales uh, information to be retrieved from this band 8. We do that by selecting the band and typing dot projection dot nominal scale. And for getting all the metadata properties, we, we do that by dot property names. Uh, it lists us all the metadata properties of that particular image. And for uh, getting the specific uh, metadata, we do that by dot get, and we have here the metadata property, and this metadata property uh, can be seen in the uh, data set. Uh, there is more information about the um, information about the data set. For example, here we have the Sentinel two, and if we do here in Sentinel two level two a, here in the image properties we have different uh, properties or different metadata as we can work with this one. So this this one is for the uh, Lancet 8. And we have some uh, version number and we have your time step. And so the data set consists of different uh, time frames, uh, whether uh, when the image was actually taken uh, by the sensor or when the uh, uh, image was uh, indexed in the database. So they can be different um dates about that so here we are getting the uh, version number and we are converting that into the date by ee date uh, before that we are converting it into the number which is being divided by thousand and this is the way to convert the uh, version number into the date and here we have the timestamp and we are getting the time um system time start by getting this one and we are converting that into the date so if we run them all Here we have the all metadata. It consists of uh, everything related to this image. This type is image. We have ID, version, and we have bands, um, and we have properties. It is a long list of properties. And in the next one, we have the band names. We have trivial bands. We have band one projection. Uh, here is a code related to the um, projection system. Uh, and we have band one scale, let's say 30 meter resolution. And for band eight, there is 50 meter resolution. So two different bands, uh, two different resolution. And we have metadata properties. You can see um, long list of metadata properties uh, of these emis. And we have here the cloud cover. Uh, this was the specific uh, metadata properties that we uh, retrieved. Here we have the version number, the version number is converted into the date. 
and we have the uh, date uh, related to the timestamp. So this was the way to get different uh, metadata of that image. So I have done the similar thing for Sentinel-2 as well. So here I have done them all in a single line. Uh, this is the same thing, just done in a single line only. And we have the string value uh, for helping us to know what the variable is about. And the next one is the variable names that has to be printed. So if we run this, so here we have the metadata related to the Copernicus sample to surface effectance in maze. So we, here we have the type in maze, version, bands. So uh, Copernicus uh, Sentinel 2, surface reflectance in maze has uh, bands along with different other bands for uh, with different other properties. So we have the band names here, different band names, project and system, now code is um, reference, code is in different systems and code is here. Uh, and we have band one scale, the band one is in 60 meter resolution, uh, band eight is, is in, uh, this is a different band here. Actually, we are selecting here. There's some typing mistake, not a big problem. So we have the band to scale, and we have a list of metadata properties. Um, so we have different list of properties, and we also have cloud virtual person. So this one is different uh, for the Landsat. It was a cloud cover. And in the same other in this uh, Sentinel 2, we have cloudy pixel person. So it differs from uh, it's doing the same thing, but it differs differs from uh, data set to data set. So here it is cloud uh, cloud pixel person. For this means uh, we have version number. So it's converted to date. Similar to previous, we have time tab. So this was the way to retrieve the metadata properties. Um, uh, the thing is to uh, is that we can. Uh, uh, get to know much more about the uh, the image or the data set itself. So knowing about the metadata helps us in what exactly um, has that image in. So the properties of the image help us to know or make us more familiarized uh, with the data set and helping us to do more. And of course, in helping us in uh, learning more um, that's the thing so this was it in this video thank you for watching